May Bush was an Australian-born actress who worked in both silent and sound films in early Hollywood. In the latter part of her career she appeared in many Laurel and Hardy comedies, frequently playing Hardy's shrewish wife. Early life and career Bush was born in Melbourne, Victoria to popular Australian vaudeville performers Elizabeth Maria Lay and Frederick William Bush. Her mother had been active since 1883 under the stage names Dora de Vere and then Dora Bush. She toured India with Hudson Surprise Party and toured New Zealand twice. They continued to tour with various companies with short breaks when their two children were born, Dorothy in 1889 and Annie May in 1891. Following a concert tour of New Zealand, the family left for the United States via Tahiti. They departed on 8 August 1896 and arrived in San Francisco at the end of 1896 or in early 1897. While her parents were touring the United States, six-year-old Annie May was placed in a convent school in New Jersey. At the age of 12, she joined her parents as the Bush de Vere trio, which was active from 1903 until 1912. As May Bush she performed with her mother in Guy Fletch Bragdon's The Fixer, to good reviews, and in 1911 they featured in Tom Reeves' Big Show Burlesque. May's big break came in March 1912 when she replaced Lillian Lorraine as the lead female in Over the River, with Eddie Foy. May's first film appearances are reputed to be in The Agitator and The Water Nymph, both released in 1912. There is some doubt about May's being in these films, though, as the production of both films in California appears to clash with Bush's commitments in New York. In 1915 she began working at Keystone Studios, where she appeared in comedy Two Reelers. Her dalliance with studio chief Max Sennett famously ended his engagement to actress Mabel Norman, who had actually been Bush's mentor and friend, when Norman walked in on the pair. According to Minta Durfee's unverifiable claim, Bush, who was known for pinpoint throwing accuracy, inflicted a serious head injury on Norman by striking her with a vase. At the pinnacle of her film career, Bush was known as the versatile vamp. She starred in such feature films as The Devil's Pass Key and Foolish Wives, both directed by Eric von Stroheim, and in The Unholy Three, with Lon Chaney. Her career declined abruptly after 1926, when she walked out on her contract at Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer and suffered a nervous breakdown. Afterwards, she found herself working for less prestigious studios such as Gotham and Tiffany, where she was relegated mostly to supporting roles. In 1927, she was offered a leading role in a Hal Roach two-reeler, Love Him and Weep, which began her long association with Laurel and Hardy. She appeared in 13 of their comedies, often as shrewish, gold-digging floozies, a volatile wife of Oliver Hardy, or more sympathetic roles. Her last role in a Laurel and Hardy film was in The Bohemian Girl, again as a combative spouse of Hardy's released in 1936. Her film roles after 1936 were often uncredited. Overall, she had roles in approximately 130 motion pictures between 1912 and 1946. Jackie Gleason later mentioned her name on his TV show as the ever-popular Mae Bush. In 2014 The Grim Game, the believed lost 1919 film that was the first feature to star Harry Houdini, was discovered and restored by Rick Schmidlin for Turner Classic Movies. Bush appears, credited as Bush. Personal life and death Bush was married three times. To actor Francis McDonald, to John Earl Castle, and to civil engineer Thomas C. Tate. Bush died on 20 April 1946, age 54, at a San Fernando Valley sanitarium where she had been ill for five months with colon cancer. For her contributions to the film industry, Bush was inducted into the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1960 with a motion picture star located at 7021 Hollywood Boulevard. In the 1970s it was discovered that her ashes had remained unclaimed. The Way Out West Tent, a chapter of the Sons of the Desert, paid for their interment at Chapel of the Pines Crematory. The memorial plaque is incorrectly dated 1901.